Alright guys, so today's video is about how to connect Orimo Watch ES2 to phone. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. So the first thing to do here is to switch on your Orimo ES2. That is your Orimo Watch ES2. And you are going to see your Orimo logo and you will be asked to pick your preferred language. Here, I will be picking English because that is the language I understand. So you can pick yours. And the next thing you are going to see is the QR code. You can see download and pair with device. If you swipe this way, you are going to see device information of the smartwatch. You can see Orimo Watch ES2. Now, I'm going to swipe back and do the next step. The next thing to do is to go to your smartphone and switch on the Bluetooth, data and location. So I'm going to swipe down and switch on the Bluetooth, the data or Wi-Fi and switch on the location. So once you have done this three, the next thing to do is to go to your Google Play Store or your Apple App Store if you are using an iPhone and download Orimo Health App. You can find that when you search for Orimo Health App from the Google Play Store or your Apple App Store, which is this. I've already downloaded that, so I'm just going to open it. This is the first page. Now you are going to select this smartwatch symbol down here. Select that and you will see device page. Because I've already connected a lot of smartwatch in the time past, that is why I have this here. Normally, there should be nothing here if you are doing it for the first time. Now, you select this plus icon at the top right corner here. Select that and you'll be given two options to either connect via the QR code or via Bluetooth. Here, I will say you should connect via the QR code. So, I'm going to select this and scan the QR code of the smartwatch. So you should see this, like, you should see this connecting. So select start using on the smartwatch and select binding successfully. And it is connected as you can see on the smartwatch. Now select acknowledge. And you're going to see a short tutorial telling you to enable Bluetooth call. Okay. You can go to the setup and do that. Now, the next thing to do is to now scan for the Bluetooth of this smartwatch. How do you do that? Select the scan option here from your smartphone. You can swipe down. See the Remo Watch ES2 is now showing down here. So I'm going to select that. That Bluetooth is for the calling function. So I'm going to pair it up. And voila. We have our Remo Watch ES2 showing on the Bluetooth list. So it is connected. You can now use it to make call and it's going to work. Do some quick settings like notifications and you know to get WhatsApp notification and other stops. So I'm going to go to this watch icon again and select this arrow here. Here is the page for you to customize or do something, and it's going to reflect on your Orimo Watch ES2. Here is the die center. If you want to change the die, you can come here and do the customization or you upload new dies to your Orimo Watch ES2. So here is the dial market where you can select any of this dial and upload it to your smartwatch. As you can see, there are a lot of them here. And let me select this Christmas one and set it as my main dial on the smartwatch. It's very quick. As you can see, it's not something that you're going to spend hours on. So it is here, as you can see, it looks beautiful on the smartwatch. So that is it. And if you want to customize it to your own die, you can go to this create dies and select custom background. And it's going to show you to select either camera or select from album, select your album and you can customize it to your own watch. I've done that in the review video. So I won't want to take much of your time. Just go there and select a picture and upload it. Is as easy as that. So the next thing I'm going to share with you is how to receive notification from other social media platforms. By default, you are going to receive notification from Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. But if you are not receiving from YouTube and other apps on your smartphone, here is how to do it. Go to this option that says sync with phone notification, select that, and you are going to see sync with phone messaging, which is for the SMS. And you are going to see all this option toggle on that is from Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, and every other social media platform. You can see that from Facebook just drop in. 
So this is how the notification looks like. Now, you can see it. So though it is much, but just a little showing here. Now, let me quickly show you how to receive from YouTube and other social media platform that is not on your list here. So you go to the option, select others, select that option, and it's going to load up the applications on your smartphone. For example, I want to receive messages or notification from YouTube. I'm going to scroll all the way down to Y and select YouTube, which is this. So I'm going to toggle it on. And any notification from YouTube that drops on this phone is going to show right on the smartwatch. And if you have any other apps that you want to receive their notification on your Orimo Watch ES2, you can just scroll to that app here and toggle it on. For example, let's say I want to receive from Pioneer and Paper. Whenever I have a notification here, it's going to show on this smartwatch. It's as easy as that. And if you also want to sync up your Orimo Watch ES2 to Google Feed, you can come to this option here, select this human option or human symbol, and select synchronize data with third party service. And you are going to see your Google Feed. Select that and bind it with Google Feed. And you can use it for step count, distance, calories, sleep, and heart rate monitoring. And you also have event reminder. Event reminder is a little bit different from alarm. Alarm is the one that will vibrate on your wrist, like you want to wake you up. But event reminder, you can still write a little note on it. And you have five event reminder that you can use. Okay, maybe you don't want to steal it in a place. You can just put this event reminder or to remind you of an event or something or you want to do. You can just put it there, put the date and time very close to alarm, but a little bit different. One thing about it is that it's going to vibrate for once and that is it. Once it vibrates, if you miss it, it's gone. Put it up. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. If you have any question about this Orimo Watch ES, if you are not able to connect it, drop a comment in the comment section and I'll reply. If there's any other thing you want to know about the smartwatch, please let me know down there and I'll reply you as soon as possible.